Do you really enjoy playing heroes? Because you play so many good guys as well. Well, you know, look, I think heroes are people who voluntarily put themselves in harm's way. Uh, and I think you, by that, by that criterion, you could say anybody who flies an airplane for a living cheats death somehow. You know, they stand up in front of 140-odd people who are jammed into those seats and says, I know, we'll be in the air for three and a half hours, don't worry, I'll get you there. That, that, that is somebody who takes on a responsibility that is, you know, bigger than bigger than uh, the, you know, the, the, the average uh, job requirements. You must have a, you and Tom must have a profound respect for Sully. Oh my goodness, I mean, I'm still uh, in awe of him. I can't get over it. Um, every time I think about it, or actually we, were, we came over here to London together and uh, to listen to his stories and, and his command of the aircraft and of, um, uh, of, of his skills, it's incredible. I mean, you're at 3,000 feet, you have dual engine failure, and now you're in the middle of New York City, where are you gonna land? Um, his heart rate spiked. You know, he, he said he couldn't even do his simple equations, two plus two, you know, he had to, he had to um, get control of his body and then figure out what was going on, where he was gonna land, figure out glide speeds, you know, taking the weight of the airplane, all these equations um, in his head, and then listen to Jeff, listen to the tower, and all the pressure of 150 people, 55 people behind him. It's staggering. When you lay it out like that, it's just staggering. Well, the, uh, they had an investigation to uh, see if well, if you stay long enough for the credits of the film, you can see that you um, are reunited with everybody from that fateful plane crash. I mean, that must have been pretty emotional, mustn't it? Just oh, I don't call it a crash. I call it an emergency <laughs> landing on water. But thank you. I know what you And it is so important that they do stay for the credits because I think they see the real people and the passengers in one of our reunions. And I think that's really a part of the emotional content of the film. And Laurie has become the keeper of these stories. The 50,000 communications, letters, emails that we received in the first few months from people all around the world who were touched by this event. Well, the, uh, they had an investigation to uh, see if